Hello, I am the Reverend Wizard, and this is the astrological forecast for Virgo. Virgo, the perfectionist, right? You know who you are. Let us see about uh, Virgo. I'm not getting on Virgo's case. You know, Virgo is like they're they're very uh, dependable, uh, lovable people. Love Virgos. Um, let's see what what the energy of a Virgo holds. Interesting, a lot of swords coming up here, but not not bad as far as like looking at the energy of of January of of this time of year. Right, it's like the the very first card that comes up is the uh, the Knight of Swords, and and the Knights are cards of action. Right. Um, swords representing uh, mind, communication, identity. This is a a time to to step into a a, a new uh, you know activation mode. Right. It's it, it's not about having to you know change up who you are at this time. Right. It's it's about uh, being more more activated, more, uh, you know, where you're willing to uh, stand up for yourself in, in, in a way that is, is clear, it's honest, it's, it's authentic, right? It's, it's like the swords are always about, you know, putting forth, you know, a, a, an authentic aspect of yourself in, into the world. But it's, it's also, you know, it, it feels like, um, you know, like there's there's uh, family matters that that are involved, uh, and it's because I'm looking at at all three cards here, and I'll I'll show you what they are. Um, the nine of of swords comes up right, which is is a card of of uh, of worry, right, anxiety, of of overthinking, and you know how I see energy, right? It's like energy. It, it starts within us, and then you know, we, if it's moved out into the world, if we're able to, you know, talk about what what it is that we're feeling or thinking and all, then that helps dissipate some of the energy that's within us, right? But if if it has nowhere to go, if we're not able to express it, then then it can get trapped within us, right? That that's why, you know, this this image anyway, the the aspect of kind of that that person at three in the morning, right? It's like, who do you talk to at three in the morning? Usually your, your mate is like <sighs> sacked out. They don't want to talk about it. Not at three in the morning, but it's like, you know, it's like one's mind can be racing and on this, you know, never ending hamster wheel. Right. And, and so it's, it's important to be able to, to move energy out outside of you. Right. Um, <clears throat> and, and the third card is the, the 10 of, of cups. Right, this this card of of uh, you know creating harmony, but also that that deals with with the family, right? And and so it it feels like you know in in order to uh, alleviate any kind of of worry or anxiety, you know, which can turn into to suffering, you know, if if it's not um, allowed to 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 express itself, right? And uh, you know how I see the cards too, because the of the the ten of cups coming up as as kind of the uh, the third card. I, I I see that you know your desire is to ultimately create harmony, right? Is to ultimately make things um, settled, or or to uh, you know make it so that so that the, you know there there is no discord you know between um family members right but it's important that that you do your part right and and your part is to give voice to what it is that that you're you're feeling right because your depth of feeling is 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 quite deep <laughs> i guess that's a way of putting it right um i think that the, you know the 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 gravity of it 
is is important enough to where you feel the need to act where you feel the need to step up and and to you know uh, feel like you're uh, helping the the energy shift right so so again it it, it feels like it, there's a, a a family matter that that you're being asked to um, participate in and and weigh in and and to uh, you know be as as honest and and clear in in your own uh, in your own mind in your own experience as as you can so um, I, I hope that is of service to you Virgo and it's like you don't have to make it perfect right it it, it only has to be like uh, authentic right it doesn't it doesn't have to uh you know if you're if you're looking for like an exact outcome to like happen kind of right Johnny on the spot then then you might be disappointed by that right and and so it's it's about kind of letting go of that letting letting go of of it having to be like a a perfect moment or so it's it's about again moving energy outside of you so it doesn't get trapped up all right so all my very best for 2017 and many blessings